Good day, McVeigh. Happy Friday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Let's get to our birthday list for today. Happy birthday today to Emily Dong in our second grade, Sia Chowdhury in our kindergarten, Jack Shaw in our first grade, and Miss Lewis. Tomorrow, happy birthday to Colin Buckley in our third grade, Michaela Hutton in our fifth grade, and Alexandra Klin in our first grade. On Sunday, happy birthday to Mrs. Arnone. And on Monday, happy birthday to Sophia Manis in our second grade, Olivia Manis in our second grade, Anora Sarkar in our second grade, and Zachary Zhao in our kindergarten. All right, lunch for today, friends, is pizzeria pizza. Yep, we have egg chef salad, grilled cheese, and bagel lunch. All right, now let's get to our Wordle for today, but first, Field day yesterday was so awesome. I'm so proud of all of you for being so kind and showing sportsmanship. So if your team wasn't winning, still just having a great time and congratulating other people who were doing well and for just supporting, cheering on all of your classmates. It's a wonderful day. And again, a thank you to our physical education staff, Mr. Regan, Mr. Hanlon, and Mr. Leonard for all their hard work and to your teachers for all their excellent help. All right, now our Wordle, we had hats off to Miss Grice's class who got the Wordle. The word is humble. So that's an H. So here's the vowel that's the least used. There's the silent E, that's the vowel that's most used. And we talked about this word meaning not being somebody that talks about themselves all the time or brags, right? Somebody who just does what they should be doing and doesn't try to draw attention to what they're doing. Somebody who is humble uh, is somebody who uh, doesn't really boast or show that they are super proud of how they're doing. They have pride in themselves but they don't make other people feel badly with their own accomplishments. So when you're humble, you do well, but you don't rub it in other people's face and say, oh, I was better than you. You know, when you're humble, you say, great job. Even when you're doing a great job, you always show others how they're doing. You bucket fell at all times. Now our mystery number, now, many of you got this. Yep. 338. This was a three. Many of you got this. Now, one of the clues I was going to give was to take the hundreds and the tens and say, well, if you skip counted by 11s, you would get to this number. So that'd be 11, 22, 33. So if I skip counted by 11s in the hundreds and the tens place, I would get to 33. That would have given you this number also. So I'm going to start making the uh, clues next week a little bit more challenging. See how that goes. All right. Now, our Get Smart project today is super cool. This is coming to us from Anna Ronsarkar, who, by the way, uh, is going to the International Geography Bee because he won the Regional Bee and he's going to the Nationals as well. And this is one of the reasons why he knows lots about the places in the world. This place in particular, Fiji. We should know something about this based upon 
the flag. Now you see this, we learned about this last year for those of you who are in a school uh, last year. So this is a clue. That's the Union Jack, which means that Fiji was once a British uh, territory. That's the flag of Great Britain. And uh, it's part of the continent, uh, he puts down here, Oceania. So that's another name for Australia. So Australia is a continent, but more recently it's been called Oceania because of all the islands surrounding Australia. So those islands and the country of Australia make up Oceania. And this is one of the islands uh, off the coast of Australia. And so he lists here, look, we have Hinduism and this is Islam, the religions. Uh, all kinds of cool facts about uh, Fiji, so the Fijian language. Um, uh, the climate, the major exports or textiles, the currency, it's called the Fijian. So lots of cool facts about Fiji, and it's certainly a place I would like to visit sometime. All right, and now it's time for our uh, mighty kind moment of the day. Going to get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. So this is a shout out to Lauren Octera in class 216. So there were some ices left at the end of the day yesterday and many people wanted seconds. Only there wasn't enough to go around. So Lauren had a second ice and she put it back and she said, no, it's not fair if I get a second and others don't. Wow, well done, Lauren. Yeah, yeah, see that? You had the opportunity to get one for yourself and you didn't because it wasn't fair to others. And that is part of being empathic and that's part of kindness, is understanding how somebody else feels. What if you were one of the people that didn't get a second ice? How would you feel, right? So. Well done, Lauren. Uh, and we all have that ability to think about others, not just ourselves, others. Why? Because we're mighty minds. Not only that, mighty kind, mighty minds. And everyday boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.